Jesus was pointing out before their very eyes that material possessions tend to rivet the owner's attention on earth to the exclusion of heaven. And wealth can enslave us without us even realizing what's happening. So Jesus says, beware of riches. They can become your greatest handicap. Well, Peter, Peter was processing this. And you know, in fact, back up to chapter four of the gospel by Mark because Jesus talked about this all the time and I don't think we realize it. In fact, a nice thing to do is read through the gospel and look at Jesus talking about money. He talks more about money than any other topic. It's unbelievable how practical he was in his teaching. And as he's talking about money, look what he says. He's presenting the gospel in Mark chapter four. We call it the sower and the seed, you know, that parable. But that was Jesus teaching about how people get saved. They receive the engrafted word that saves their soul. But, but this is why some people don't get saved. Chapter four, verse 19. We can be captured and controlled by our recreation and comfort and possession so much that this will happen to us. Jesus warned, Mark four nineteen, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things enter in and choke the word and it doesn't bear fruit. Do you know what that means? That people can hear the same simple gospel message and, and that message is sitting there waiting for them to act on it and Jesus said, watch out because the cares of this world, the persistent pressure of keeping up, caring about staying up with the world, all the cares, and, and I, there, are, there are just normal cares of life just to make it, but they can distract people from the gospel. And the deceitfulness of riches. Look at the deceitfulness. Look at verse 19. The deceitfulness of riches. You all of a sudden think you're better. You think you deserve something. And Jesus said the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things chokes the word. So that's what Mark chapter 10's rich young ruler illustrates. The most deadly byproduct of wealth is it hardens our soul against the requirement Jesus came of simply clinging to him. He said, I'm the door. You can't bring anything through the door. You just, you just let go of everything and cling to me. That's how you get saved. And that man, you know, the, the, you ever saw or, or looked at the words of Rock of Ages? Uh, simply, nothing in my hands I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. The rich young ruler said, no, I want to cling to you, but I want to cling to that too. And Jesus said, you can't have both. <laughs>